to the slightly being on your phone cast. Oh, uh, Vincent, email. Vinny, I'm where, Barry. where, what are we here for? We're here for Derek. It's his birthday. No, that's false. Damn it. Both of those are actually false. Happy Catterday. Almost. Nope. Yeah. Not. Can either. you hit that switch down to low? Someone. Yeah, I got it. It's a little. It's a little warm in here. Uh, it's almost the summer. Spring has sprung. I almost died from my allergies once. Oh, how so? I got sick. My allergies hit me really hard. I think it was a cold and allergies combined. Ooh, that's a rough I one. I was down for the count more Day weekend. It was uh, rough. Yeah, allergies, they've been hanging around too. I like, thought yeah. they were gone. My car changed colors. It's yellow now. Yeah. that. So I was I was at a meeting, an all-day meeting um, last Friday, and when we got out of the car, there was no pollen, and then when we got back, there was a lot of pollen. It sucks. Yeah, I pollen. can't. I can't deal with the eyes watering. That's the worst part for me. Is the, the, itch, the itch? I don't the like worst the itch. Yeah, yeah, the, the itch, itchy nose. It's, looks itchy like, face. Looks like itchy crying eyes. all the time. Yeah. yeah, I don't like it. Not good. You don't cry all the time. Not good. It's healthy for you. Uh, I almost cried at work. I only cry Re- reading a book. At, uh, I only cry <laughs> in, in sad the bathroom things. stall. Yeah. How only, only sad things? That, not is pollen. that a, is that a real scenario that is brought me through? Yes, that is one hundred percent true. I cry at my desk a disproportionate amount of. The time that I'm crying. At your desk? Yeah, at my desk. How's like, your work life balance? Your work, your work desk? <laughs> yeah, my work desk at my work why are you, Why are you crying at work? It's uh, To be honest, it's usually unrelated to work. <laughs> yeah. Well, Vinny's crying doesn't surprise me. I'll, I remember we were about to go out one night you've when we lived s- together. You've said this story so many times yeah, on here. Yeah, I'm going to say it again. Okay, and we'll just skip over it. No, I, I was like, watching the office finale or something. you're listening, just fast forward like three minutes. And then you cried. I was drinking. I heard yeah. you were yelling at your your neighbors about the office quotes. I was yelling quotes out. Yeah, I heard. I saw that on your Twitter. You were like, I was rewatching uh, to all my neighbors. I'm just dinner. yelling office quotes, not getting murdered. The dinner party episode is so ridiculous that I can't help but quote it when I watch it. Uh, th- is that why you posted the Serenity by Jan? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. What? It's so good. What was her assistant's name? Um, Hunter. Hunter. You took me by the hand. You made me a man. That one night made everything alright. Cut all this. And he goes. And he goes. It's a great episode. Great episode. Great. Oh, it's so good. Good job. Um, so good. Vinny, you you messed your desk up. It, your your desk is like it's throwing me because your desk is ninety degrees to where you it were used here to be. You, well, last time it was. I know, but we that. haven't recorded a pod in here since then. Was was, you get, did you get rid of your other monitor? No, it's right so there. Hard. It was right there. Yeah, it's on the floor now. I want a longer monitor. That's what I really want. Oh, you want the you want the want wide, a curved. A curved, wide one? I saw nice. one of those at my. At, it I looks went, clean. I went to the Natick Mall. I saw one of those at the Microsoft store or the Windows store at the Natick Mall. And uh, it was a monitor, but the way, like, it was so wide it, that it actually had... How, how wide, wide was it? it? It was this <laughs> wide. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I didn't pause, but you still came through. Um, it was so wide that they had to... <laughs> this is like a vir- onto a joke. <laughs> I know. They had to virtually divide the monitor into two monitors. I like that. It had, like, the monitor had two separate wallpapers. Like there was a, there was just so a, good. It wasn't even a line. It was just a margin between the two halves of the screen of no, no pixels, no nothing. Just like it immediately transitioned from one wallpaper into a different wallpaper, and it had a, it had a separate taskbar. So uh, like they actually logically divide it into mm. two monitors for the. They probably have like two video ports in it too, or something. So great. I want those so bad. It was really like how much do those bad boys go for? Over a grand. Oh, like at least a grand. Yeah. Maybe you'd be lucky and get a cheap Chinese one for seven hundred. I think about the Apple stand for a thousand dollars. Go man, with it. fuck yeah. Apple so much. Right in the dick hole. I hate Apple. I really? hate them so much and their cheese grater ass bullshit. You don't like Apple? Just a bit. <laughs> Slightly biased. Just a bit. So should we talk about our weeks? <laughs> yeah. I ran a five k with Kyle. It's actually been How'd three weeks. The yeah, sun ca- the that's sun true. came out and it cooked me. Oh, I got a sunburn. I, I got a sunburn too. Yeah, yeah. sunblock. It's been so long that we've since we've recorded that I actually got a sunburn. I and smoked, it's gone by now. <laughs> I smoked the jewel for the first time last week. Now I know why kids like jewels. They're fucking ridiculous. They're they great. Sh- they should be illegal. They should be. Kids should not be able to buy no. that thing. Well, they just well, raised it to twenty one. God, they just raised it. to Well, 21. also like they don't sell like the flavors in store or something like that. Yeah, yeah, they're not allowed to sell the flavors easily anymore. They're hard to get now, and they raised the age to twenty one. So anyone who was grandfathered in, anyone who was eighteen years old when that when this law takes effect. 
they won't be affected, but anyone who turns 18 after this law goes into effect won't be able to buy it. I still don't... Why do people still smoke the Wait, fat is it, ones? is it just Juul? No, there are other... It's, tobacco it's any products. tobacco products. Wait, is this across... Across the state of Massachusetts. Wait, when did this happen? Recently, like oh. last month. It, the law went into, it went into effect like last month. No shit. Like the, or no, it was the 1st of June, I think. Oh, wow. I'm completely unaffected by it, but... Right. Yeah. But so I which, mean, is, which is probably why I didn't... My sister's yeah. grandfathered in. Okay. She's she's between 18 and 21. She jewel? Yeah, of course. No, she's a crackhead for that thing. Dude, okay. it's she's crazy. She's completely addicted to it. She's a jewel, a jewel head? She's a jewel head, yeah. But her birthday lets her keep buying them, so it's because she... It was grandfathered in when she, she was already 18 when that law. Got you, it. You like, don't you push know. a button. You just suck on it. And you it just suck up. Well, that's what it's, it's wild. So I actually also bought this uh, REM pen uh, CBD uh, vape pen and it works the same way. You just pull on it and it and it does a uh, does the CBD for you. It's a four to one ratio of CBD to THC because you could do just pure CBD. But there's been some research that says that CBD isn't as effective unless you get a little small dose of THC with it. So do you get a little buzzed? Not really. He says he gets um, relaxed. I had, I had it. Um, it's like full effect, full strength on me right now, and I don't feel any like psychoactive effects at all. I just feel relaxed. Oh, well, the psychoactive stuff is fun. Right, but I don't want it for the psychoactive. I want it to like while I'm at work, so okay. I can just be relaxed. How and long? How out. long would a cart go? How long does that last? This for? is a, I think a thousand puffs or something. That's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good, and it and actually tastes pretty good too. It doesn't, doesn't taste. It doesn't taste like a flavor, and it kind of tastes like. A, a minty weed oh. kind of a taste. Oh, how delightful! Probably like hemp. Yeah. Okay. Started like reading more in the past three weeks or a month. Nice. Read like four or five books. But yeah, no, wow. I actually I actually bought this from the Netta dispensary. Nice. So this is the first legally owned weed product I've ever owned. I still haven't been. It's 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 easier than you think it is. Oh. However yeah. hard you think it is, it's much easier. I don't think it's hard. I, I thought it was I didn't this is I've I've only waited this long to get this because I thought it was gonna be a hassle. Oh no, you can order online and then you yeah, just show you up. can reserve it online and then go <laughs> in. That's great. How I many book, how many books did you read? Like four or five. Wow. Damn, I dude. read Ready Player One. And I really I, liked I, that movie. And then I watched the movie. I was just talking about this the other day. And the so movie weird. fucking sucked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the really? Compared awful. to the book? The movie's, uh, do you see the movie after you watch the book? Yeah, of course. Wait, I wasn't going to. You know what I, I mean? Yes. I, I read the book I first, then that, I yeah. watched the movie. Yeah. Because I just. Uh, how did you. How, so I have, I, have, I have a lot of opinions about this because I also really liked the book and then was disappointed a little bit. I didn't love the, the book, but I liked it enough. I liked I, the first hundred pages of the book I wasn't really into. Yeah. And then it picked up after that. So. I have a lot of opinions. But the movie rushes it <laughs> right, so argue. fast, and the puzzles yeah. in the movie are so fucking easy. They're completely easy. different. It's so easy, though. They're completely different, I don't different buy too. that nobody had f- took five years to get those puzzles. Right, Especially exactly. when the first one was drive backwards. Are you kidding me? Well, they drive through the wall, right? Yeah, but you're someone, talking about five someone years. Someone tried driving nobody, a race backwards. But no one tried that. Out of the millions of people, the gunters who were doing it, <laughs> no one tried that. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's, that's ridiculous. makes no sense to me. Should and I read also the book? The r- Is the book good? Do you want the yeah, book? Yeah, it's better than the movie. If you like the movie, you'll like the book more. Do you read paperbacks or Kindles? Paperbacks. You can read either way. Oh, you can just borrow his, yeah. I don't. I, I read the Kindle. <laughs> to go to the library. Um, Thank you. The part about the race wasn't even in the book. Yeah, it was stupid. There was, was no race in the book. How do you explain fat quickly enough that he goes to a, pl- a school planet and he has nothing to do, so he starts exploring the planet and then it involves Dungeons and Dragons and shit like that? Race. That, the first one? Yeah. Mouth breathers. Racing. Go fast. Yeah. King Kong. Yeah. <laughs> was like, okay. I mean, the first, the first puzzle was beating... Or the first key was from beating a Lich King yeah. at Joust. Yeah, but then but the movie also ignores the gates. So it was yeah, dumber. Right. There's it was no way dumb. And also, yeah, they're eggs, right? Are so they eggs or are they keys? No, they 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 get the. Do you key. get the actual egg in the movie though, right? No, the movie. Or do they get keys? They, no, they do get keys. Mo- they get the keys. Key. They okay. go to the gate, and the gate gives them the next clue. Right, but you have to find. Yeah, exactly. They skip in over the movie. So much. They don't even have gates. They just release the clue to everyone. And then the whole plot of they already knew each other beforehand. The f- the five people made right, no that sense. That was weird. Yeah. And then they all lived in the Columbus area. Made no sense. Yeah. That was weird, too. I also love how, like, so I haven't read the book, but correct me if it's different in the book, but, like, how Columbus is, like, the fastest growing city or whatever. In the book, he doesn't live in Columbus. He lives well, in Oklahoma City. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, really? Yeah. Columbus is, the is like, the tech mecca for the Oasis. And you have to be rich to live there, pretty much, or in debt. It's basically Manhattan of the future. Yeah. Got but it. he doesn't live there. He lives in the slums, which aren't in Manhattan, obviously. Yeah. So, yeah. it's The it's, book's way better. They are. They're, it's just a, it's I did, a better book. I not reading the book. I actually didn't. I enjoyed the movie. I so the one thing that I actually hate about the movie, independent of the book, has nothing to do with the book. Is 
how they like played up this huge thing about how I'm hideous. No one would ever love me. She's a minor, a very mi- minor, very minor birthmark uh, on her face. She's, she's gross. Oh no, no one would ever love me. Like, like pretty like decently good looking woman with just a minor birthmark. Okay, come on, like yeah. really? Yes. I hated the rebellion. Get over in the movie yourself. Too. Like, that was, I hated that part. The rebellion. Did how not like how that. long of a read is this? How long did it take you? Three hundred seventy-five pages. So like two days. Depends enough fast. <laughs> yeah. Depends on how long of poop you poops you take. It's pretty much what I think. I don't. About. I don't read when I poop. Oh. I tweet, I, I tweet when I poop. I like to... No, I just peruse my phone. I, I follow our great president and poop tweet. Huh? I follow after the habit of our great president and, and, uh, poop, and poop tweet. Does he poop tweet? Oh, of course he poops tweets. Oh, yeah. 3 a.m. poop tweets. 3 a.m. poop tweets while watching that Fox McDonald's News. That McDonald's comes back, man, to haunt him. He probably has two phones. He like has Fox News on one hand and a Twitter on the other hand on the toilet. And uh, I read The Things I Carried. You guys have read that book in no. high school? No, no. I'm very glad... I did not read that book in high school. Did you read The Ear, The Eye, and The Arm? No. I'll get, I have a copy of that I can give you. I only read Kindle books, man. I'm going to be honest. Oh, I thought you, I just, I, thought you read this I, I like to have it on my phone. Wherever I go, I have it on my See, phone. See, I like read. the okay. physical presence of a book. I, I've just, I've just easier for me to read in the phone. I have a uh, a topic. Oh, wait. Did we, talk, did we finish our weeks? No. I'm still talking about books. I have a book you might like. Okay. So I've read The Things I Carried. It's about Vietnam. It's really good. That's the book I cried to. Almost. Be honest with us. Oh, it was work. I held it back to you. I held back tears. Are you reading it at work? Oh, on your phone in the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then have you ever have you ever heard of the book Seven Eves? No. It's by Neil Stevenson. You know that he's a science fiction author. So I it's about. I know. I know Neil Stevenson. It's about, I've heard of Neil Stevenson. It's about the moon exploding. What is it called? Seven Eves. Seven no. Eves. No. About the moon exploding okay. and how they have to pretty much take life on Earth and put it into a space station. That's cool. But the guy really gets nitty gritty with the science fiction behind it. Oh, I so you might that. actually yeah, like that. No, I would totally love that. He spends like pages describing yeah. the actual space station and stuff like that. And That's dope. It's really long too. And I it jumps that. ahead like 5,000 years in the second half of the book. <laughs> what? Yeah, because they go back to Earth after. They, they have to leave all Earth right. because if the moon explodes, just all the clusters yeah, from it are going to rain down on the Earth and destroy yeah. the Earth. So they have to leave. Yeah. Hmm. But then 5,000 years later, they go back. Yeah, so I don't know why. So is life back too? Is there plants and shit? I don't know yet. Joe, we should do it. I'm only on page like 75. I okay. have a topic idea. I have another one pod- too. I we, should do, we should do a book club for the podcast. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like right now. You had an idea. Oh, great. What's your idea right now? That was my idea. Oh. The book, book club. club. Book club. What are you going to read? For, what do you want to read first? I, the Bible. Well, I want to read that. The whole Bible. Then read that. Yeah, you already. Well, this is the book club episode for that, so you're behind. Okay. <laughs> Just read it by next week. Yeah. Okay. I can. It's a page and, a day. And, and then contribute to this episode next week? <laughs> yeah, Hoppinger, he's gonna walk in right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! He's got have glasses on. There's like another a Derek here. Deal. Hello, Derek from the future. <laughs> How did you like Ready Player One? Grayson. Yeah. Tell me about your last three weeks. Um, been pretty busy. Uh, just working mostly. Uh, I oh I had my friend's wedding. That was probably the big excitement. Nice. So, so for the past like three weeks, every Wednesday after D and D, I would go. Hang out in the MIT campus. Go one of, Beavers! One of the buildings. And we would go into a room and we'd practice our acapella. I got roped into doing an acapella bit. Oh. The, or an can acapella I, performance. Can I hear part of it? Uh, no, it's no, all do's and do do's and do ah we ah do do na 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 na. It's boring. It's acapella. It's not like. You remind me of Richard Gilmore from the Gilmore Girls. Cool. I don't he know. He was who an that acapella is. group after he had a s- split from Emily, his wife. Sounds fun. Just letting Jul- you know. Julie watches Gilmore Girls. She, she all might the time. She'll she listen to this pod. And get that I think it's season five. What are the, what's the mom's name? Emily Lorelai. Yeah, oh, Lorelai. Kitty. What's the daughter's name? Lorelai, but the Rory. Rory. They're both Lorelai. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, I went to the wedding. Uh, I sang at the wedding. It was fun. Um, we played. Did I tell you about? The, no, I didn't tell you like about anything. Wow, it's been a while. Yeah, the. So th- there was a bridal shower, which is where I got conscripted to be in the acapella <laughs> group. And then at the bridesmaid, the Phyllis, bat- we you came in here. We gave you a golden shower. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Um, the bachelorette party was three dudes in the bride and her two bridesmaids. And um, it was all it was again. It was at MIT and we played. um just like nerf tag we just like ran around the halls of mit with a bunch of nerf blasters and um went out for karaoke after it was pretty good and then um 
What else? Uh, had dinner. Thai restaurant. It was great. Um, nice. Gave a stirring speech and made my friend cry because of uh, my my stirring, emotion-filled uh, bachelorette party dinner speech about how much we meant to each other's lives and we were start for starting to be friends. Nice. Um, then it was her wedding, and um, it, the so the punchline of it is that um, it was the same day as Pride that Saturday of the wedding yeah and uh at the reception so well the the punchline joke is that uh she's very very christian so a christian wedding stopped me from going to pride (laughs) (laughs) those christians they stopped me from going that's great um but i ended up not going to pride because when i just like was staying late and like waiting for the reception to die down because i was enjoying it yeah um and also my phone was playing dj so i couldn't like leave because my phone was plugged in yeah that's fair and uh, after everybody left, I got roped into cleaning up the reception venue because the bride, the bridal party, the bridesmaids and the groomsmen, they just kind of scattered like cockroaches slowly over the course of the hour or whatever. By the time the reception was over, there was none of them left except for like Did one they or drink two. In? I don't They just like had places to be, even though they were asked to help clean up the reception. Oh, is so that how that normally works? No. It can work that way if you if your bridal party agrees to it, which they did. But then they all bailed. I would so not agree to that. Yeah, I would, I would never agree to that. Yeah. So they all bailed. I mean, it was it was they were the bridal party, so they went to the rehearsal dinner and sta- stood on stood near the altar. They had their positions and their choreography that they had to do. And uh they did it, but then they bailed <laughs> during the reception. So oh, well. I so I had to clean up, and that's why I had to like clean up the reception hall, which is why I couldn't go to Pride. Boo! Wait, was that on Friday night? Saturday. I went to the Red Sox game on Saturday. They lost. Yeah, they yeah, did. yeah. It was a great day. Sat in the bleachers and got cooked. Yeah, that it's sounds been about right. Forty dollars and four beers. The so best. So that all that all sounds about <laughs> right. <laughs> that's why I go to only, Red Sox. I'm games. surprised it was only forty bucks. Yeah, I don't I don't drink that much. You go to yeah. Seat Geek and get them probably pretty cheap. Yeah, but the beers. The beer? No, the seat. Yeah, the seats are cheap. Yeah, the beers. No, okay. beers. Yeah. Was the beer more than the seat? Ten dollars a beer. Was oh, it yeah. more than the seat? Oh yeah, I always. Is. I, I didn't pay for the tickets. It always is. Anyway, um, it was a disappointing Saturday. Yeah. That was the day that the train, the Green Line train crashed. Which That's brings right. me to my next story. I have a conspiracy theory about all these train crashes. Okay. There have been two MT, uh, MBTA derailments in the past week. Yeah, I didn't know that was still a thing. Yeah, so it a happens. green line train derailed um, underneath the Prudential, near the Prudential Center, where the tunnel enters under the Prudential Center. Yeah, it's because they hate the gays. Yeah, and I, well, so I was on my way to the wedding, and I saw like five am- uh, ambulances and fire trucks sk- yep. like fly by me, and they were heading towards the parade, and I was like, "Oh no!" Wait, I was on my way to Wait, the wedding wh- on Saturday. How were they? They f- were flying. Yeah, they were flying cars. I was on my way to the wedding on Saturday, and the flying ambulance. How wide was it? <laughs> you guys are so funny. I just I don't know how you. How do you tell Julie? Tell Julie. How do you I'm survive? Funny. How do you? She doesn't how, think I'm funny. How do you survive when we you're gotta, when you're spending gotta, all this time laughing? You'd be you, you don't even have time to breathe. We got a compliment from Caroline's friend that he is funny. Oh God, it's got right to his head. I see. No, yes, it hasn't really gone to my head. It's just so Julie. Julie, I think she thinks I'm funny a little bit. But she refuses to admit that I'm funny, and she says I'm not funny. No, she can't let you win that that ground. So, I I told she likes her, the power of thinking I she's told, funnier. I told her she is she is very funny. I told her that <laughs> I would pass a petition around. Okay, I'll I would sign, sign your, that. I'll sign your petition. Thank you. You'll have three signatures, including yours. Can you sign your own p- petition? I bet <laughs> yeah, you. Could. Why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, so I was driving to the wedding, and I drove over like the BU bridge and three or four ambulances and like five to 10, I don't know, five to seven or 10 like fire trucks yeah. flew by me going the other direction. And uh, they were but heading, they were heading for clarification. They were driving, not flying. Yeah. They were, okay. they were lights blazing and sirens sounding and they were driving through intersections. Was, they was they were, similar, was it similar to your acapella for in performance? A big rush. Do do. Yep. That was that was. How did you know? Were you there at my performance? It's crazy. No, I wish I was. I saw it on YouTube. It probably is all over YouTube and Facebook. <laughs> I want to find the video of it. Um, Can you send yeah. it to us once you find it? Yeah, I will. But like, I was just really worried because the, all these fire trucks were like heading towards 
downtown and i'm like oh the parade the parade is happening right now downtown and i got really concerned yeah that it was an attack or something but i'm still not completely convinced there wasn't an attack because the green line train derailed and then two days later i think on monday or tuesday another one derailed was it another green line no it's a red line no they don't they derail i was talking to a firefighter about this they derail approximately 11 times a year he said it was approximately way more once a month. No, maybe to him, but I don't know. It's, it's He's about, a Boston firefighter. I'm telling you that it's a it's approximately like one a month, once a month, it, give or take. I feel like that's too much. It is too much, but it's not two in two days. Too that's much. That's fair, and that's very odd. Coincidence. So, what's your conspiracy theory? I think that it's either sabotage or like a disgruntled ex employee or something. So here's the weird thing, right? That Green Line train ha- derailment, whatever. That's a fluke. Two, one's a fluke, two's a coincidence, three's a conspiracy, you know? So I've never heard that, but okay. It, I'm probably saying it wrong. Someone can correct us. Tweet at us. Oh, is that like a real thing? Yeah, it is. Oh. One's a fluke, two is a coincidence, three is a conspiracy. Well, and probably, four is a kiss. That sounds logical. Yeah. And like, so it is a coincidence that it's two, but like, this is the thing that makes it, not, that freaks me out about it. The second one was a red line sh- um, car, the red line train car derailed under the bridge that is part of MIT no not MIT uh JFK Andrews you know the JFK Andrews stop yeah the the walkway overhead it derailed right underneath that and it also heavily damaged a um i forget what they called it but it's basically a server room for the controls for that whole for the whole red line it just happened to clip the back wall off of and mortally wound the server room, quote unquote, that controls all of the signals for the red line. Do you think it was a ploy to get insurance money? I think there's two possibilities. Either somebody just dropped something on the tracks or like debris fell on the tracks as it does because people, that's where they get on. Yeah. So like it's completely possible that just there was just debris on the tracks and it derailed the train. But it is a really weird coincidence that this happened two days after a green line train derailed yeah as if somebody was testing whether or not the derailment technology they made it w- would work or the system they had they had Why? coined <coughs> and then the second train that derailed was a red line train that derailed under a station in a place where it would have been very difficult and was very difficult for them to get a crane in to access the car to lift it back up and re-rail it because the crane had to go around a walkway i feel like you shouldn't have a server room that close to trains it has to, yeah, you should, it probably should. Somebody shouldn't, was but poorly it's like, trained. It's like one of those, you ever see those little like, uh, oh God, poorly trained. Did you say, can you say that, that into the mic again? I think that somebody was poorly trained in the matter <laughs> good, of where to one. place server rooms. Yeah, good one. So you ever see those like rail side, um, like ice fishing huts? No. You, you ever see like the ice fishing hut looking buildings that are like on, in rail yards? No. In, this, this, they're like signal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they I look like little. Talking. They look yeah. like little ice fishing huts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're in the middle of the rail yard. They're yeah. not for ice fishing. No, they're like server rooms for oh. the. Not really servers. They're just like switching boards, basically though, like old fashioned like light controllers. Got it. And light, it's right. like I. There's a picture. I don't have the picture, but you could look up the picture of the like, um, the room with all the wires in it. There's this room that has. It's like the side wall was just sh- like sheared clean off, and there was wires hanging out. You know, like uh, um, four pin. Um, phone cable wires, four pin. F- yeah, yeah, like the f- whatever Ethernet, but for phones, phone line. Yeah, RJ11. Yeah, there's a bunch of RJ11s hanging out of the building, and there's like like a bundle of them, like a huge bundle of RJ11s. RJ11s when I use anymore though, it's always it's like all VoIP shit now, and like yeah. everyone uses. I only Ethernet. thought that they were RJ11s because they're. I don't know. This is the MBTA though. I'm so I'm saying know. that I'm saying that based on the fact that there were twisted pairs and they were multi- twisted. They were multicolored. It was multicolored twisted raw raw twisted pairs. Raw dog. Just like hanging out of the building in a, this massive, huge mess, and I'm like, I damn. Don't know, and they said they said it would take like that was the controlling hub, and it's like ancient technology. It's you like pic- you that's like thirty picture, or forty take a picture or fifty of it years and send old. It to MBTA at no, them on what? Twitter. No, I saw I it. Do that from, all the time. It was in an article. What are you talking oh, about? I added the at the MBTA. The, I like, saw this I picture. Mad. What? <sighs> Who do I add at you for being mad at you? What? I'm, I, what are you I, doing? I added them last week because the fucking ambassadors don't. Listen to their own policies. I'm about to. I'm about to, Derek. <laughs> um, it's completely derailing everything I'm saying. It's fine. It's a lot of derailment in this conversation. Yeah, <laughs> clearly. 
Can we just get it back on the rails, please? Yeah. So that was your week? <laughs> that VTA conspiracy. Yeah. His apartment's got like a yeah. whiteboard, I've been chalkboard. Like, I'm like the guy from Sunny, Always Sunny. Like You need a conspiracy theory Charlie? voice. That's what you need. Charlie. I'm like Charlie from Always Sunny over here. I guess I'll talk about my week then. Great. Did you not do your week yet? No. Shit, dude. What are you doing? Um, huh? Let's see. What did I do this past week? Uh, week weeks are pretty uninteresting. Weekends are fun. Um, Saturday, this is the second time I've done this, an annual volunteering day. Um, so I volunteered with the Special Olympics. Nice. Saturday morning. Um, so I did like 8 to 11.30 and then I marched in the Pride Parade for the rest of the day. You're a better gay than I am. Thank you. Yeah, be I'm more a, gay, I was Grayson, a bad gay. please. I was a bad guy. I let the, the Christians stop me. I'm a good, I'm a good ally. Cool. I had a lot of fun. I dabbed for equality. Hashtag. It's a good move. Dab for equality. Oh, yeah. And before that, on Thursday, we went to the um, Special Olympics Massachusetts Hall of Fame ceremony. Did you, who did you march with at Pride? Uh, my company. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was fun. Um, and then, yeah. So the Thursday before the games, they uh, we went to the Hall of Fame ceremony. It was at Fenway. It was really cool. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Did you walk across home plate? No. Because it was, it that's was run in, to home base. That's next month. It was in, it was in a suite. So Dope. we did that. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty pretty, pretty cool. Sweet. You were on it today with it these was, it was terrible. I, I had some green ice green tea in my reusable Starbucks pretty container. Nice. Sweet. So yeah, it's all good. Bruins lost last night, so that sucked. Game seven, RMP. Yeah. yeah. I have to pay respects. Hey, all if you right. don't show up, you're gonna lose. So. What do you mean? They played like shit. Oh yeah, yeah, it's true. I thought you meant literally show up. Like who did someone bail or something? Team spirit. Team spirit. Bail. Team spirit. The Raptors and the Warriors are playing tonight. I hope the Raptors win tonight. Yeah, I hope so too. I don't know anything about basketball. This is the last Golden game. State always wins. This is the last game. It's like the Patriots they always win. Everyone hates it. Golden so State wins every game. The last game year. at Oracle Arena. So are oh, they tearing it down? Um, I don't know if they're tearing it down, but the Warriors are moving to San Francisco. Oh, Oracle wow. Arena is in um, Oakland. Mm. In Oakland, in Oakland, Oakland, California. So yeah. That's that's what I got for you. I think I'm moving to Arkansas. Do it. You really? Do yeah, it. I want to vote for Sarah Huckabee Sanders and her when she runs her governor. Nice. Do it. You, you won't. Do okay. it. You won't. Then go. Okay. Okay. He has to make a phone call for work. All right. Is it the phone call out of his butt? Uh, I don't know. Are they calling back? Oh, sick. I want Welcome to the anti no Derek allowed segment of the podcast where we talk about real things that matter so okay there was one more thing i forgot to mention about the about that train thing Can you do the conspiracy theory voice all right so so what happened on the on the mbta here's the thing all right the last thing i want to mention about this okay it's the last thing it would take it's, they said it would take them an indeterminate amount of time to fix this problem an indeterminate I amount don't believe of time that. okay no this is the thing about this okay an inter like this, this these these switches and these lights and these uh these switches and shh, no the switches and these lights and these cables and the and and all the all the sensors that make up the system they're about 50 years old right okay so this That's is old this is a system that would take substantial effort and time to replace this is an existing system and it works for how they have it now but if they were to fix it or replace it or build a new one they would have to replace all of the existing architecture so they have to like actually go through and rebuild the signaling system from scratch. Yes. And they can't use the old technology because it's not doesn't exist anymore. It's just use five G. That was really loud. They can't use the 5G. they can't use the existing technology because it does it's not being sold anymore. So this they said it would take them a quote indeterminately long amount of time to fix. They just literally have no idea because they have to research how to re- they were not this is a project that if they were gonna go and replace it intentionally, it would probably take them 10 years and this is they were not prepared for their entire signaling system to go down all at once yikes on the red line right this is and there was i think there's only one of those cabinets on the whole red line so like would you be surprised if like al-qaeda comes out or like isis comes out and claims responsibility for derailing that train no i don't know that seems like a pretty small would you so you'd be surprised you so you would be surprised i think it's just old and just but not how did that train hit the only thing that was holding up it's that entire infrastructure? Co- it's coincidence. I don't know, man. It's weird, though. I don't know. 
I'm just so the NBA I'm just so is used, old. It sucks. I'm so used to there being an attack. It breaks and down like, all the time. Yeah, but does it the Sounds train like that PTSD. Bre- does the train You're that breaks down happen to hit the supply cabinet that controls the signaling just for the entire happen. line? I don't know. Shit happens. It's ridiculous. Shit happens. It's a perfect storm of weird coincidences. That's all I'm saying. I think it is just a coincidence. I don't really think it's like a terrorist attack or anything, but like I love conspiracy what the theories. Fuck? Like that's so that's such a weird coincidence. It looks like an attack. It, like if someone was going to attack the the rail system and like make it look like they weren't, that is exactly what they would have done. There was actually not really much more you could do to do more damage, right? The goal, unless the goal is to strike fear, in which case you do you use a bomb because people are scared of bombs. You can't say bomb on the air. Bomb. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry, the FCC. FCC. Shit. The FCC is gonna strike us. Yeah. Just saying, like, if you were to try to, like, do maximum damage to a system, that's what they would have done. But if they were trying to strike fear, they would have done it all at once scary. or all the lines. It wouldn't just be one line. Maybe they're testing it. Maybe this is the, the beta. Does, does Taliban or a terrorist organization strike you as a testing first organization? Yeah, they had, they to, train those, sh- they had to train those pilots that yeah, crashed they didn't the, train them in the center. They didn't train them on the game on the, on the big day. Why would they do it on the big day? They did it before. Yeah, why would this they is attack the, the MBTA? I don't, they don't know. I don't know. I don't maybe know. they don't. Maybe they don't, don't have th- full size train cars in ISIS training camps. They have a laptop with Microsoft Flight Simulator. They don't have a fucking train car to test it. It was Dick Cheney's fault anyway. He was knew behind it all. All right, whatever. Nine eleven. Still was blame. Dick Cheney. I still blame let Bush. It, let it happen. No, I still blame Bush. Bush is a patsy. He isn't. He, he's an idiot. Your mom's a patsy. He's an idiot. He's like, I just want to fix schools, and Dick Cheney's like, perfect. I want to do the rest. Nah, man. Why do you stand up there with that mission accomplished flag? Because he was fucking told to. <laughs> He's fucking it's a patsy. It's fucking dumb. He just wanted to impress his dad. That's all I cared about. What other conspiracy theories do you have? I don't have any right now. I don't know. What's your favorite conspiracy theory? Oh, fucking ask me that right now. I gotta yeah. think about this shit. I'm st- no, I'm just asking oh, you to I'll think of my, a single I, one off the top of your head. I'll give you my fucking first one. Comes first in one. Yeah. The fucking kids on the railroad tracks in 1980s, late 80s in like Arkansas or some shit. What happened? These kids were found on the railroad tracks dead. It's weird, man. And the conspiracy theory is the fucking Clintons are involved. I can't get into it now. I don't have not well researched on enough to dig into it right now, but Clinton said it. Because oh, it was right, a, right, right. Yeah. they would fly in drugs yeah. over there and drop them out of the planes. I like, think you've talked about this yes, before on the pad. Yeah. yeah. There's like a, yeah. Clinton said it. The Clintons were involved. They're dirty motherfuckers. Word. If you How found- did they get there dead like that, Grayson? Son of a bitch. How did they get there? They got murdered they and got left pl- there. No, they got placed there. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah, they got murdered and left there. Yeah. It's uh, it's not that un, it's not that unlikely. It's just behi- if you dig into it, it gets really crazy. I think yeah, I think you've mentioned this before. It's pretty. Everyone crazy. look it up. Kids in the railroad tracks. What about Bigfoot? Is, is that a really conspiracy theory? I th- I th- it's, I heard it's cryptozoology. I heard something about um, the uh the navy release the navy's release of those. Yeah, I heard about this. Too. Uh, the UFOs. Yeah. What did you hear about it? I heard they released the FBI released documents about the fucking Bigfoot. No, 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 the UFOs that the video, oh UFOs. Yeah, the the, UFOs. the Navy released video of UFOs, and they were like, "Yo, guys, we don't know what these are." <laughs> it's like it's just a couple of like F sixteen pilots oh. that used the onboard camera to record a UFO, and then they released the footage of the UFO, and they were like, "Yo, country, we don't know what these are." Help, help, please figure it out or we something. Need, we need some adults up here. Um, but then I think uh, I think it was an XKCD page, you know XKCD. Yeah, the he comics. Does, he does the web comics. Yeah, he had a comic about how, uh, he, like he, I guess he looked into it and um saw that or found out that one of the videos, if you do a, a bunch of geometry, you and the use the telemetry data from the uh, aircraft, you can tell by doing a little bit of geometry that the thing it's like a it's like it's not actually moving the camera panning while they're flying past it the camera panning makes it look like the thing is moving but if you do the geometry or whatever like the telemetry coordinates of the camera's angle that i guess is also included in this footage somehow you can tell that it's apparently a stationary target that they're panning past at a weird speed and um this the panning of it makes it look like it's moving but it's but it's not actually moving and um, it looks basically like a weather balloon of some kind. And the the XKCD thing was saying that there's either there's two there's two possibilities, right? It's either that 
the mil- the military would lie to cover up a weather balloon, which they probably wouldn't, or they were as excited about it as we are about the fact that they might have found a UFO. So there was this guy on Reddit last Saturday, this 95-year-old former Canadian Minister of Defense and Transport. 95-year-old? Some- he's 95 years old. Uh, I forget his, I think his last name is Heller. I remember Canadian his what? He was a former Canadian Minister of Defense and as well Transport. Okay. And he went on there and he was talking about, he's very much into these things. He's talking about the deep state. Which uh, which deep state? Just the general alien government that exists in the world. Oh, that, de- you mean the Illuminati? It's not, it's something like that, but it's something different. Okay. And then he's talking about aliens and how one alien spent three years in the Pentagon helping this is out a, the government. This, this is, is a, a man, this is a member of the Canadian. Former, yes. Okay. Who is, who is very believes Canadian in Canadian defense agency. He, Minister of Defense. Ministry, I don't know. I don't okay. know how Canada operates kind of like minister that. Minister of some kind in Canada. And he's talking about the aliens, and he very much believes that how the Venetians are still here. And this one guy the in the pen- the one guy in the Pentagon. I forget his name. And he spent three years or helping us out in the sixties. He has an IQ of 1,200. Who? And he's still here. It's the alien. I don't oh, know. an alien. An dude. alien. The alien guy. It's like if those guys get up there telling us this stuff. Maybe he's right, or maybe he's just no. He's crazy. Crazy. No, he's crazy. That's stupid. What do you think? You think aliens you think are real? real? Aliens? Yeah. I think your widow's peak point is on game. Is it? I think Wait, everyone should I, go look at that AMA. I meant to say, I think your widow's peak game is on point. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm kind of conflicted on it. I do I do believe that there is the the chance that there is extraterrestrial life. And I do think potentially the government is covering up things. Do you know about the Fermi paradox? It's not no. covering things up. It's hiding from this to keep us, you know, we couldn't handle it. To keep us safe. Yeah, that's fair. No, I'm good. Thank you, though. It's very relaxing. Um, but yeah. Aliens. aliens. The Fermi paradox is basically a thing that says that um, if there were aliens, um, it ex- tries to explain why they haven't found us and why we haven't found them. But it's a paradox, so it's more a series of questions yeah. with possible solutions. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's one of the possible yeah. answers to the question is... Uh, yeah the great wall or something where there's a point yeah. in of technological development that's impossible to get past. Like for example, yeah. you know how in like, yeah. Uh, like the sixties to eighties, they were like, Oh, all this crazy future technology. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool if it existed? And then like, we've yeah. created it. Yeah. So there's that, but then there's like other technology from that era of filmmaking that yeah. still doesn't exist. Like literal flying yeah. cars, anti-gravity technology, that kind of stuff. And the theory is that faster than light yeah. travel, anti-gravity technology, anti-matter particles, none of those are possible. Like we haven't done it yet because it's impossible. Yeah. And the theory is that like, oh, other, other alien uh, civilizations also haven't done it because it's impossible, not because they haven't had enough time. Yeah. The, the paradox of the Fermi paradox is that our planet is fairly young and our solar system is also fairly young. And it's young compared to how lo- how old the entire universe is. So there are like these stars that existed before us that had the entire history of our planet like a thousand times over. So like yeah, our like you could have had our planet to its to this point by a thousand already. So if that planet has existed and it has had our life on it a thousand years in the future, for however long it's been around, why haven't they developed to a point where they're capable of getting to us maybe they have maybe they have well yeah that's like there's another theory another answer well, another the theory like, is another possible answer is like they're not allowed to there's like some government the that star says, trek shit yeah there's some the Pr- prime, prime directive, directive. Yeah. exactly and there's another Hell, one why it is it there's, there's another one that's like we're we're act. it's we it doesn't well, exist because we're actually alone yeah well we are alone we arrive too late or we arrive too early right that's the, that's the idea yeah to the party only checking this phone. How'd it go? I was gonna look up the other possible answers. Oh, isn't it, I thought I don't know any more other ones. Aliens. Speaking of aliens, do you not have any topics for this week? I have, I can't remember anything in my head right now. It's, uh, Chernobyl finished. I finished Chernobyl. I watched. I finished it Chernobyl so too. Good, uh, I started I watching it. The Bachelorette. I'm into The Bachelorette now. You tweet I, about it a I, lot. Yeah, I, I, not- I noticed the Bachelorette. that. I'm gonna rewatch it tonight. I haven't watched this week yet. I'm doing it one thread though this time. It's really fuck. You don't watch the Bachelor. I think you watched the Bachelorette. I didn't. Never said I didn't. 
I saw. I said I saw that you watched it. Do you watch it? Twitter. Are you watching this? Season? Um, I haven't really watched it. I do watch it. It's really good, but I haven't. I haven't actually watched this season yet. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Episodes, uh, they're too long and they're hour and a half episodes right now. Hour and a half. There's it, time for that. I think it was a two hour episode this last one. Well, it's hour and a half without commercials. Yeah. So, and then it's too many guys right now to keep track of, you know? They put yeah. a lot of guys up there. Well, it's the Bachelorette. So. I know, but even in general, it's a lot of contestants to keep yeah. track of. Wendell it down, Hannah. Let's go. What are you doing? One of the, th- there's, yeah, it's called the Great Filter. And, oh, um, yeah, yeah. One of the answers is that we're rare and the Great Filter is behind us. So we're the first and only ones to pass it. We arrived too early. Um, one possibility is the great filter could be at the very beginning and it might be incredibly unusual for life to begin at all. Uh, so we're an accident? Yeah. Another possibility is the great filter could be the jump from the simple prokaryote cell to the complex eukaryotic cell. What else? Uh, there's one where we're just the first. Where the great filter is not behind us. Um... And the one hope that we have is that the conditions of the universe are just recently, for the first time since the Big Bang, reaching a place that would allow intelligent life to develop. In that case, we and many other species may be on our way to superintelligence, and it simply hasn't happened yet. Aliens are out there. Or, possibility three, we're fucked because the Great Filter is ahead of us, and we haven't hit it yet. Oh. The The Great Filter being the thing that it is impossible to for technology to progress beyond. See, I don't agree with that one. It's possible that we just haven't hit it, hit it yet. Yeah. That's that's the one that I think is, is is the truth. I think that technology doesn't exist that can overcome faster than light travel. That's that's my thought process there. But then again, naysayers have existed that said electricity wouldn't exist and the f- earth was flat and flying was impossible. Um, flat earthers are still... Uh, Space travel was impossible. They're still... Uh, Still the worst. They're still. Oh, did you guys hear about this anti-vax shit coming back again? I mean, I saw I saw memes. Who was it? Yeah, it was Jessica some Beale. Jessica Beal. Do you know why? What What was this? Wait, wait. Jessica Beale's an anti-vax. That's anti-va- what it says. Yeah, she said she's like not against it, but she's not for it or some shit. Which oh. is like some fucking both sides <laughs> bullshit. What is the world devolving to? It's so stupid. I hate it. Why? It's like, so dumb. What is this nonsense? Why? Why is everyone on both sides of everything? Get it? How could? How is there both sides to vaccines? It's just until a their thing. kids die, and then they're like, "Whoa!" Like, "Oh no, I was wrong. I'm I felt so tricked." No, Would you rather have a kid, your kid have autism, or your kid be dead? Like, how does that logic make sense? You know, that's kind of the the fundamental underlying upsetting I, part of anti-vax movements is they're actually like they're not arguing that the science is wrong. They're not arguing anything like that. All they're actually saying is that they would rather have a dead kid than an autistic kid, yes. which is incredibly weird, biased, um, and fucked up, and anti-disability, yeah. like, anti-differently I want Mike to be president one day. Like, no, I'm, I'm so worried about autism that I'd rather have a kid who's dead. That's what they're saying. They're not saying the vaccines are ineffective. They're saying they're risky. Yes, but so they're not. <laughs> they're not. First of all, they're fucking not risky. There's no science to prove that they, to su- even suggest that they're dangerous. And second of all, uh, they're at what they're actually saying isn't even that the vaccines are dangerous or that they're not effective. They're actually just saying, "No, I'll take my chances. I'd rather have a of a dead kid than an autistic. Anything's better than autism. Like fuck you, just fuck you." I don't know. Maybe climate change isn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, because we'll all die. Yeah, it's, maybe it's humans like a, have had their run. Maybe that's the great filter. Yeah, well, well, maybe whatever, <laughs> maybe anti vax Whatever is the comes great next filter. is the big thing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's finish this AI. Let's get them going for us before we die off. What happened to the Incans and the Mayans and the Egyptians? They died. Why? Why did they die Is out? Why did ancient Greece die out? Why did the Roman Empire die out? Why did Atlantis die out? Well, if, Atlantis if it, got too if big. It, if too, it much power. too much power. And they, was, they were killed by the lizard people, right? They're killed by... Didn't you watch Aquaman? Oh yeah, they were killed by the Deep Folk or whatever. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember they, what happened in that it movie. It was they, the the energy or something with the Trident or some oh, bullshit. Oh, yeah. What what even happened in that movie? What I, was I, I watched that movie on a plane and I can't even tell you what happened. What the plot was like? It's a lot. It's just fighting. It's just a lot. Sh- fighty shooty laser. Don't I don't. Pew, pew, the pew, plot pew, went pew, right over my head. Shooty laser. Yeah, punching and throwing stuff at each other underwater. 
At some point, they take over a nuclear submarine. I don't fucking know. It's weird. It's the DCEU. Nothing yeah, makes sense. Nothing, nothing matters. Sense. It was a good movie. I liked it, but I didn't understand what was happening or the backstory. Mary Poppins plays the Kraken. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. What happened to the fucking Incans and the Mayans? And they the died the off. Egyptians. Well, Why, though? The, Span- the Spaniards arrived. If the if the Egyptian civilization had the technology to build pyramids, something we still haven't been able to well, do the, again. The problem is granted is, that they use it's slaves, just man in general. It's just driven to fight. They can't peaceful. They have to fight. Why was it Egypt different enough that they could build that stuff? It's just I don't know, man. They, the, I want to reli- know. I, I feel like I, someone knows the answer. I feel like, like this it's is not like a hard question. To do right? with like religion or something, and just ha- controlling the minds of people. I think yeah. Well, the the short answer is that they probably the, well we know that they used hella slaves yeah. to build the pyramids, and it took them hundreds of years, right? Yeah. Well, not I even mean, hundreds because they were built for the kings while they were alive. I guess I don't know enough. They were built for the, Egypt. They were built. Well, the pyramids are tombs for the pharaohs, and then then but they were built in the their Roman, lifetime. Right? The Romans showed up to Egypt at one point too. It's the whole idea, I guess, of you're, you're too big for your sandbox, so you spread out like, another like sandbox. The, was it the Romans or the Greeks that built the aqueducts? It's not the Romans. It's not the, maybe both, but I definitely Either, think I, the I Romans. Yeah, it was one of the they, one of those civil, two civilizations. It was a great civilization. I think it was Greece because they had the cathedral. No, the the Parthenon. No, nope, no, nope. the gladiator ring. Yeah, yeah, that one. What's That's it called? Romans Colosseum. The Colosseum. The Roman Colosseum. You're right. Yeah, yeah. So the Roman uh, Empire, they had advanced technology. They could build aqueducts, and they forgot how to do it. Yeah, well, you know, I guess knowledge wasn't shared throughout the throughout the people. I don't know, because they, they had like it's, the, they had like two hundred years of peace. That's stuff fascinating to me. Then read the downfall of the Roman Empire. It's like six, like thirteen books. I don't know, man. I'll like, teach you. are we? What? So this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm wondering. Are we there? I think we're there. The point where we're gonna yeah. collapse. Yeah, they're getting pretty close. I, I think, think we're there. No, I think we've crossed the point of no return. You think well, so? Yeah. Climate change is going to happen. It's I don't think it's that. We could survive climate well, change. I think the idea is that climate change can happen. We can survive that. It'll suck for the people on the fringes and the poor people and yeah. anyone who's not, like, fine. It, will, can, it will suck for anyone who's not... Well, like, it'll, it'll suck for the most vulnerable people in the world. Yeah, people on the seacoast, poor, poor people, people mostly yeah. poor people. Uh, you got nuclear war But we'll still. survive. We'll survive. Unless it's not nu- going to be a nuke. No, no, I'm just saying generally no have that. War. There could be a, a massive outbreak I'm, of a dangerous virus. I don't know. Here's what I'm talking about. Societal collapse. Yeah, but what, I'm causes, about soci- what causes societal, that, though? Not global warming and not nukes. No, but the breakdown of society is through those things. No. The, yeah. the, the Egyptians did not have nukes. The Egyptians did not have global warming. The Romans did not have glu- nukes or global warming. What caused them to collapse? War, man. I don't know. I don't think it was war. I think it was just... People, th- shit gets too good. If shit gets too good for a civilization, and they have it too good for too too long, they fucking fall apart. I, I think I we're there. Know. I think we've already. I think we've already gone past it. I think it was the nineties. Hey Siri, it. what caused the downfall of the Roman Empire? I'm gonna hold it to your mic now. Eight reasons why Rome fell. Oh boy, he's gonna read the whole thing now. I bet. I'm. I think that we're at a societal collapse. I didn't even open the fuck. I think it was fuck you, Siri. I think it was Donald Trump and the fucking right wing influences. I think it's Russia. Russia, the, Russia taking over. Have you ever watched elections. The Handmaid's Tale? You should watch The Handmaid's Tale. Yeah, we're in a Handmaid's Tale. We're getting pretty fucking close. We're in a. We're in it. We're there. Besides the weird genetic part of it, where they no. can't have kids or whatever. Well, we're getting. We might get there. That's uh, no, I, no. Here we go. Read them off. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna read the hit, the top. This, the, the okay. Top thing. All right. I'm gonna start at number eight and go this down. Bad podcasting. Number, number eight. eight. Weakening of the Roman legions. So the soldiers, the armies got weakened. Here we, Here we go. Number, number seven, seven. Christianity and the loss of traditional values. Number, number six, six. The arrival of the Huns and the migration of barbarian tribes. Number five. five. Government corruption and political instability. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. GOP. No, the entire Republican apparatus is what's going to cause a collapse of American life. Number four, overexpansion and military overspending. Oh, that sounds familiar. The military, military industrial complex? Military over overspending? Bombs yeah. are great. You don't use them once and they cost a lot. Number three, the rise of Eastern Empire. So it sounds like another empire in the East. Number, Number two, two, economic troubles and over-reliance on slave labor. Hmm. Yeah. Number one, invasions by barbarian tribes. Wait, really? That's what it says, yeah. Uh, well, it sounds like you they may have ignored other yeah. things and now the things built up and it was a chain reaction of things, you know? Uh, yeah. So the, what I'm, what I think is, this is, this is my like more tinfoil hat zone. 
is like I think that we're here, right? What do you guys think about that? Not eh. not that you've been paying I don't attention. I think we're there yet. I haven't paid attention. Um, I think if twenty twenty goes a certain way, we might be there. If we don't win in twenty twenty, there might be. I just don't get how people are just like. Can you imagine we had four more years of Donald Trump in twenty twenty? I just can't imagine people are so like for, like ignoring climate change. I don't get that because it's like the weather is definitely different than it was fifteen yeah. years ago. But they act like oh it comes in cycles. I don't think it comes like this kind well, of shit. No, so this is two things. It's malice and it's stupidity. There is there is malice, but I think mostly the malice is going away. Mostly the oil companies have started to accept that global warming is real and that yeah. they have contributed to it. Yep. The Republican Party has kind of given a little bit of ground, but mostly they've stuck to their guns. And I think that's where the stupidity comes well, in. Well, they're just greedy motherfuckers too. Especially the leadership in the GOP. They're not the gonna be leadership. they're not gonna be fucking greedy anymore. They're not gonna give a shit anymore if the money stops coming. Like well, yeah, but then the oil companies are gonna realize eventually that it's not actually in their interest to push these lies and sell and, and buy off the senators and buy off the Congress people. And eventually the money is gonna stop coming from the NRA and the money is gonna stop coming from the oil companies. They're too stupid to be sustainably profitable. Mm-hmm. Just fundamentally. Like they're gonna run out of money. The NRA is already on its last legs. So is the NRA tax free? It is. Oh my god. Yeah, and it's losing its tax free status because of the Southern District of New York. Good. Yeah. You got to be kidding they, me. They're How going after free? them. For it. They're going after them for it. They're going to lose their tax free status. Um, hopefully. But this is the thing. They're gonna the this the stupidity is the more dangerous thing because the money is going to stop coming and then they'll stop thinking that they have a financial interest in standing these causes. But the stupidity is stronger. It'll stay around. These yeah. Old fucks. In the Republican like Senate, these old fucks like Mitch McConnell, like if they do, if if it's a stupidity thing, and they're just like, have you ever listened to like the senator from like Alabama talking about anything? They sound like idiots. He's a fucking moron. He probably didn't graduate high school. He he actually. I wonder if he's the same guy. So Katie Kirk had a series. uh, I don't know if it's still going, but she was interviewing. It was right after Charleston, and she was interviewing, and I believe it was an Alabama senator. Yeah, he's and so And she dumb. was asking, like... He was well, on Twitter. Like, he got yeah, one she viral was, She was talking so about, stupid. like, the statue of Robert E. Lee and all that stuff. And, um, like, he couldn't articulate why they needed it, but was, like... It's it's ve- emotional. Yeah, vehemently against yeah. removing it. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's like, what do they, they teach down there? The War of Northern Aggression? So, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. And creationism. Well, they and teach, creation, they teach that they, they have a glory... They, they proclaim their glorious heritage, which is a dog whistle. Their glorious heritage? What is your glorious heritage? What does that mean? Unreal. It doesn't matter because tornadoes are going to wait, but anyway, it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> Not in Texas. Uh, what what that is info? No. no tornadoes in well, Texas. Texas is kind of going away from the it's, red a little it's bit. It's a little purple. It's, yeah, it's not like it's it was. State. It's crazy. That's why you need better to drop out of the race and run again. I'm, lo- I'm, I'll, I'm about to fucking move to Florida just to swing it blue. Nice. Swear to God. Everybody move to Florida. Yeah, I'll be, you move there first, any postcard, and then I'll head on down. It's a hard, hard pass for me. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't really want to do that. 53. What's it say? All right. Game over. Let's, Let's wrap, wrap it, up. it up. We'll be back. Uh, we do it next week? Sure. Can we do it a little bit later next week? Thursday or later time-wise? Time I'm going to... I'm supposed to go to a workout class at 530. We so should do uh, pet- Petacast. No, that's a horrible name. <laughs> Petacast. <laughs> I wanted to record during it. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. But the, you have slightly find, biased pedicure cast. You have to find someone. Well, we have to be A, near each other, to hear each other's talking. Yeah. I don't know how big these parlors are. Um, yeah, so it's, they're it's, very it's, echoey. It's pretty challenging. It's you, probably we, not going to happen. We wouldn't want to do it in the I would thing. Like to try because it. it's, it's. I would like to it's try it. It's cramped and there's nowhere to put the gear. No, we, yeah. we're not going to use the gear. This stuff? No. We're, we're not going to use that. one we're mic. Gonna, so we're going to. No. So record on our phones? We're going to record on our phones. We're going to have to use headphones. Uh, yeah, and record, could work. record at the same time. That could work. Because that'll A, won't pick up as much shit in the room. Yes, I did. And it might be, we'll see. It's a test. Nice. Ooh, that's a smelly one. All right. And that, uh, that concludes, what episode was this? I don't know. Who cares? I, I still have one of the pipeline I haven't released yet. All right. Well, that concludes <laughs> Wait, slightly by the podcast. Episode I have unreleased. a slice of bologna that hasn't come out. I've been, oh. I've been taking a, it's been our summer break. Yeah. Our spring break. Well, we got to hit the 100 episodes this year. We so. will. I'm taking, or, I had to hit I was wondering break. how many yeah. episodes you had. Because I, I saw, I saw uh, two, so I'm gonna be two honest, Game of Thrones back to back. Game of Thrones took the one out of my sales. It burned them out real bad. It, 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 the audio was fucked up on it and the show sucked. Yeah. Oh, the last Game of Thrones one? Yeah. The yeah. whole season. And I was just like, I need a break. The audio was only fucked up on one though. Yeah. 
one episode. And that was my, yeah, I know. But it was just like, I need a break. I'm done. Yeah. All right. Well, we will I'm see you next week. You, you are back in with a vengeance. Hashtag Jeez. the Bachelorette. Yeah. Follow Vinny if you Hashtag want Bachelorette the office. Updates. You want some live tweets about Bachelorette news. All right. All well, right. We'll see you good, later. Good pod. We did it. Good night. I love you. Bye bye. You can dream it. You can do it. <laughs>